October 28, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and nine months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 612 of Special Putin's three-day operations. Big picture. The plucky and determined Ukrainian defenders again have refused to accept the tyranny of the Kremlin on this day. Ukrainian defenders repelled no less than 37 attacks by the Kremlin's army in Ukraine. Aviation missions per side was roughly 3 to 1 in favor of the Kremlin. The Kremlin's losses since February 2022 approached 300,000 personnel, 5,200 tanks, 9,800 APC, 7,200 artillery systems, 840 MLRS, 560 anti-air, and 1,015 pieces of special equipment, and also include 320 fixed-wing, 324 helicopters, one submarine, and 20 warships. It was a breezy day and the ground was damp from showers overnight, steady strong winds dominate the nation this time of year. Dnieper Line it appears that the Ukrainian attacks across the river have ceased their expansion. Neither side has written much about this, suggesting that both sides wanted more from the engagements. Zaporizhia Front. Kremlin mouthpieces claim that Ukraine's attacks west of Robotyne have been daily occurrences, with no gains for Ukraine. Kremlin bloggers suggest that the wind speeds and rain showers have kept Ukrainian spotters from properly adjusting artillery. Further, the high speed gusts have grounded drones. East of the Morki Yoli and southwest of Vuladar, the Kremlin has removed the 110th separate motorized rifle brigade, and deployed them to support the attack north of Advivka. The remainder of this front has no reported line changes over the last few days. East Front, Donetsk. In the fields to the east of Novomykhailivka the Kremlin has made minor gains, and continues to press the settlement with the 39th separate guards motor rifle brigade. Marienka continues to face daily attacks. Around Avdiivka the Kremlin has managed to rotate troops and has added troops to both the southern and the northern salients. In spite of the Kremlin's attempts to shuffle the deck, Ukraine has held solid in the south. In the north, at the coke plant, the Kremlin's push has reached the rail loading lines, likely with fire support from the tailings mound. Fighting here will likely be close quarters for some time before either side makes a decision, or is defeated. Bakhmut area. No changes reported. Oskil border front. Ukraine has liberated fields west of Ralarodka, forcing the 252 motorized rifle regiment to halt their attacks 10 miles to the south so as to redeploy, in hopes of halting the Ukrainian defenders. Northern border. Kremlin media is claiming a Ukrainian drone landed on the waste disposal section of a nuclear power plant in Kursk. Black Sea. A limited amount of commercial traffic out of Odessa has restarted. Ukraine is certain that the passage will stay clear. A Russian Black Sea mine sweeping ship is now watching for mines from the bottom. Ukraine world related. Snow in Moscow overnight, an interesting time for one of their major gas power plants to start smoking. Speaking of smoking, on the occupied Crimean Peninsula, there was no shortage of billowing smoke around Theodosia. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.